Welcome back to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. Glad to have you here. Um, did another smallmouth float. I went down a piece of river that I had never floated before. I'd wade fish it, but I'd never floated it. And uh, I, I got in touch with an outfitter on the river to shuttle me upstream, and I just floated down to uh, their, their outpost where I, my car was waiting for me. It was really nice. And uh, a shout out, a shout out to Dusty Trails Outfitters. Uh, the owner Dustin and his boys, Alex and Corey. Guys, I enjoyed meeting you guys. Uh, what an absolute pleasure to deal with. Anyway, they did the shuttle. They are avid fishermen. Uh, Matter of fact, I just had I just had to finally say, look, guys, after the float, and we got to talking for I don't know how long. <laughs> I, got, I got a three-hour drive back home, you know. I got to leave now. <laughs> and, uh, guys, I will be back. I will be back. And do that, do that float you talked about where it had the really, really good water. But anyway, this stretch of river where I floated, it's got some good holes, but they're few and far between. And there's there's like a there'd be a, like a whole mile of very shallow, no good holding water. It was, but you know I, I never floated it, and that happens a lot of times. And but there are some good holes in there. And come to find out, that river, every year for like three four years in a row, when the when the smallmouth were spawning, there was a flood, and we're talking over the banks in parking lots, covering roads, I mean, big flood. And basically, this river is missing three to four years of uh, smallmouth bass. And that's the reason of the title. Nature can be a mother. <laughs> Nature can be cruel. Guys, fish kills like that, that's, that's normal. You ask any fisheries biologist. Yes, nature can be cruel and nature can be a mother so you've got the last couple of years where they had a good spawn and a lot as you'll see in the video a lot of small fish and the big fish are hunkered down in the best holes in the river they got it to themselves and so anyway uh it was a struggle to catch good fish caught some fish uh, but small, small, small mouth, uh, they're hard to set a hook into with a fly rod, unless you're using very small flies. And now I'm using one, one alts, two alts. So anyway, enough excuses. I had an absolute blast. But guys, and most important, just look at this water. Just, it is clear. It was at a great level. All the conditions were perfect. It was nice. And there was a hatch. Yeah, there was a tuber's hatch. There was a recreational kayaker's hatch. There was a fisherman's hatch. Guys, it was, I would get set up on it. I finally would find a good haul, get set up on it, and here they come. And it would be 45 minutes before all the tubers got through this hole. It was, it was a circus. I knew it. I knew it when I, when I got, they warned me. Dustin warned me over the phone before, the, the day before I came up. He said, man, you know what you're getting into? And I said, yeah, I think I do. And uh, I was right. He was right. It, it was a circus. It, it was unbelievable. But I had a, I just, it was a pleasant float. There was only one drop I had to even think about. All the rest of it, I could literally have gone down it backwards. It, it was, it was a pleasure. And I'll do it again. I'll do it again. But uh, I'm thinking next year, the year after that, all these small fish are going to start getting really nice. So... You know, we're going we're gonna to keep this in our back pocket. And also want to float some of the other stretches of it and uh, some of the better ones that Dustin told me about. But guys, again, a shout out. Dusty Trail Outfitters. They will take care of you. They're good guys. Matter, matter of fact, at the end of the day, there was a couple floating by and they were taking out at a different spot downstream. And they were, they were an older couple like me. <laughs> a little bit older than me. They were wiped out. They were they were wiped out, and they asked the guys. You know, I'm sitting on the bank right there, at our, our takeout there at Dusty Trails Outfitters, and these guys, these people came 
came by and they said, how long is it? And they go, hey, it's going to be another hour and it's getting dark. And, and this poor lady was like, you know, I can't make it. I'm, I can, you know, she barely stand up. They said, hey, take out here. It'll be all right. That's the kind of guys they are. I mean, these, these people were had done a float with a different outfitter and were taken out at a different place. But they said, no, no, no problem. And uh, they took care of those people. And uh, and then they didn't have to. And that, that says a lot. But anyway, enjoyed meeting you guys. Dustin, Alex, Corey. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Welcome back to the channel. I'm making a correction stroke. A little brim came up and did it. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are on a river. You guys have seen me wade fish this last year. But now, matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> when I did that, I said, I got to come back here with my canoe. So, as promised, I'm back here with my canoe. <clears throat> put in at a state park I got a six and a half mile float I had a shuttle service bring me up drop me off here my car is waiting for me we got an early start I know me oh that was a that was that I think that was a small mouth here's a small one now this is not going to be size guys this is not going to be size 10 inches maybe some 12s and just look at it guys I don't catch a single fish. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Starting out on top water with the obligatory white deer hair popper. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish, guys. Man, I am hyped up. I am flat jacked, wired. It looks like I got to find the deeper holes. Water's low, crystal clear. It's perfect. This is, this is this is perfect for fly fish. I don't I don't tell river names, but this is a very popular. <laughs> We're gonna see tubers and other kayakers and other canoers and other fishermen out in the wazoo today. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes it doesn't matter. And these fish, guys, like I said in that other video, smallmouth, and I think all fish, uh a place where it gets a lot of recreational traffic they get used to it and today i'll probably catch some fish r literally right over right after a bunch of tubers go over a pool and i'll probably still catch them so y'all can y'all hold me to that I hadn't seen some uh, th this doesn't have really awesomely good looking water i think we're gonna have to go a ways but Anyway, doesn't matter, man. We're here. We're fishing. <laughs> that was a small fish, whatever it was. <laughs> it was not big. There you go, Derek. <laughs> there he goes. He's small. <laughs> but he's a he's a small mouth, I think. Oh, we got off. Oh, Derek, you can't do that. You can't do that. I didn't set the hook. I, I was honestly surprised. <laughs> Watch the flyer. Watch what you're about to run into. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I should. Why did I hit that? Why did I hit that? <laughs> Before I was all over it. Oh, well. Six and a half miles of water, guys. I can blow a few holes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, there. It was a small man. Come on, I got I got I think I'm gonna have to get a a smaller and uh might even have to clip the weed guard off. But as people just went through here, banging the paddles against the canoe really bad. <laughs> they got kids, which is cool. Y'all know me. I love it. Oh, man, Derek, pay attention. Oh, golly, that was a nice... That was, he, might, he may come back. 
He may come back. He might come back. That was a nice fish for this for this river. wasn't bad at all, man. I'm going. Ah, come on. No, I didn't have no depth. Look, oh, that does. There we go. Man, what is uh, a weed guard becoming a fish guard? I'm serious. Wait a minute, I'm missing fish. This is this is this is madness. I give us a little bit more, and I'm changing to something. I don't know what though. I'm gonna change to something. I'm getting bit, and I'm not connecting. Now you know the people just went through there, and I got those two bites. <laughs> Well, it may also maybe just waking up. <laughs> okay. They want it. Oh, it goes again. That was like a trout head, to be honest with you. <laughs> Shoot. What is going okay? What is going on? I'm gonna go smaller. I'm gonna go smaller. Yep. Maybe I got one without a weed guard. And the way they were hitting that big one, <laughs> I thought they'd been all over this one already. <laughs> oh, he, it, he sucked it in like his large mouth at the last video. You sucked it in. Man, major holding pattern. There we go. I had a fish on and didn't know it. Son of a gun. Dang it. <laughs> he took it while it was just sitting. I was maneuvering. Slows down right here. Get some little, little bit more depth. I think it's floating good though. Like I said, small. <laughs> That's okay. Very small. I didn't expect that small. Anyway, that's what's been happening. I guess some of these fish are probably just so small it's hard to get a good hook set on them. <laughs> well, I think there's another small one. <laughs> Golly, he's, he's, he's smaller than that other one. <laughs> oh my goodness. I expected small, but not that small. <laughs> oh man. Cut the weed guard off. Maybe this will help. I think some of those fish are just so small. Just think closing the weed guard all the way. And they hit it. We're gonna go with a yellow one. <clears throat> See if this color change makes any difference in them taking it more solid. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced a lot of these fish are just small. But that being said, I have hooked a couple, some that seem to be bigger. They're just not they're just doing taking it all the way. But they are willing to come up. They've shown that. Definitely have shown that. I think they like this yellow at all. <laughs> ah, that was a better than what I've caught so far. <laughs> About time. <laughs> he took it. Ain't a size to him. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. I've been struggling. I've been struggling. I finally got out the froggy colored deer hair popper and it still ain't got no size to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they took it solid. Sorry guys. <laughs> you hit the big white deer hair popper I started out with. A little bit bigger fish. Ain't saying anything. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> it's pretty though. <laughs> yeah, he bit on top. I was expecting small fish, but not all of them. I mean, I've had quite a few fish on, and, and, I, and sometimes I can see the fish. I've only had two that I would consider decent small now. There's a bunch of them here. There's a bunch of them. There ain't a whole lot of size to them, though. Bye. How's it going, guys? I'm uh, retying the anchor chain. It broke, the anchor rope broke. Not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Yep. Hey, this is editing, Derek. <laughs> Hate to break in, but I just got to point something out. I'm doing the final review, taking out the junk stuff, you know, just cutting the fluff out. Wait, I wouldn't have a video if I cut all the fluff out, but <laughs> uh, I'm cutting the fluff out. And I have got to say, in this part of the video, suns come out and you can see how absolutely beautiful that water is it was guys i had an absolute ball yeah i caught a bunch of small fish and there's a lot of fish didn't ain't making the cut but i had the time of my life and uh man next time i'm gonna bring me a four weight or ah, the sage rpl just look at the sheer beauty of that river. Un and those fish are so. Anyway, I gush. <laughs> I'm a fanboy, that river. Have any luck? Man, I've caught several small mouth. Have you? I've caught a couple, but man, they were small. I caught a couple decent ones. My son caught some trout. Really? Yeah. There's still some trout in here. Yep. I don't know where he's at. He done took off the stream somewhere. <laughs> well, good luck, man. Two little smallmouths sitting right there, right on top of a rock. They're where they should be. Man, those are some small fish. Micro smallmouth. Micro trout, micro small. Oh, well. <laughs> That's sort of one. <laughs> he's, a, he's about a fourth of one. <laughs> oh, shoot. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to let you go, buddy. Oh. <laughs> All seven, eight inches of him. <clears throat> he's up there against the bank. He was, wasn't he? Come to think of it. This is more like what I was looking for. <laughs> I finally caught one. Like I was looking for. Come on, buddy. <laughs> what? Is You're just wearing yourself out for no reason.
I get 20 like that. <laughs> this is still ain't a size to them, but <laughs> a bunch of them be all right. <laughs> How you doing? Catching any fish? A few here and there. Little stuff. I caught my biggest one today. All eight, nine inches of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's been tough. I haven't talked to anyone who's gotten into them. Yeah. Yep. But still better than being at work. Yeah. How's it going? Doing any good? Not really. Have fun though. Oh man, yeah. This is great. I've caught a few seven, eight, nine inchers. Yeah. But I'll hey, I'll I'll take that any day. Oh, yeah. How y'all doing? Good. We're all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Having fun. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I miss work. You miss work? Yeah, I miss oh, work. Sir, where do you work? <laughs> no, I don't. I miss work. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen fly fishing in real life. But oh. Maybe when I was younger. See, I'm trying to look more like Brad Pitt, so. Oh. <laughs> the movie? Well, I have not seen that, but. You haven't? <laughs> no. A river runs through it? Well, if you're a Brad Pitt fan, you need to watch it. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. But, I mean, that's how I learned about fly fishing. I scouted this out about a month ago. No, last year. Looked good from the road. Oh, shoot, I missed it. He's so small. <laughs> He's so small. <laughs> How small was he? <sighs> there he goes again. Okay, I'm running into some fish now, it looks like, out of the blue. <laughs> so small, Just following it. Oh, there he is. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I hope I'm recording. They're getting bigger. <clears throat> Slowly. Need about 10 more like that, I can make a video. Oh, sorry, I, didn't, I don't think I showed them to you. <laughs> so, so used to catching dinks today. I think I'm finally getting bites from some that are big enough I can set the hook in. Got enough mass you can you can set the hook against. Now I tried a woolly booger and a deceiver earlier. Absolutely nothing. There he goes. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. It... Ah, there we go. <laughs> that is a small fish. <laughs> that is a small fish. There's another one right there about the same size. <laughs> okay. Now I know where to catch dink smallmouth. The ones I catch upstream have been bigger. Not much bigger. <laughs> a little small one had it. <laughs> I just saw it dart to the side. 
like big time just dart to the side. <laughs> Jeez. That was so small I couldn't feel him. I saw the fly move. <laughs> small. There's a lot of them though. What's that fishing technique called? Fly fishing. Fly fishing? It's uh, it's difficult, and it's not the best way to catch them. But I make I make the lures myself, and uh, a lot of satisfaction out of that. Took you about several years to master it. Yeah. 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 It does. It's uh, the casting, and then the uh, now of course I tie my own flies. You can buy flies. But I tie my own. So that takes that takes a lot of a lot of uh, yeah, <laughs> and it can be very frustrating. <laughs> but when you do it right, it's yeah. it's the best. I mean, it's just the best. So I'm gonna break the surface right there. That's a small fish. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> I would usually say I guess you can but uh I wouldn't use a four weight for bass. For these little bitty ones, yeah four weight would be about perfect. Smaller hooks. There's I mean it's really hard to hook them on a size one off. <laughs> Just see it go sideways all of a sudden. <laughs> hey guys, we're about uh, we're about done. We're not far at all from takeout. It's been pleasant. It's been a warmer than I thought it was going to be, but for the most part, it's very pleasant. Well, this has been the day of the dinks, no doubt. <laughs> day of the dinks. I have never caught such small smallmouth in my life. Y'all know me, I can catch some small fish. I'm the master. I find it these smaller fish, they grab it, they go sideways with it, but just for a short and they and you don't feel you can you gotta sit there and watch them hit it and I did not feel a thing. Okay, I got the froggy froggy color back on. This one pop that's popping really good. <laughs> this is what I've been catching. Wait a minute. Is that a real red eye? Yep, this is a little my first red eye today. <laughs> That's a small one. <laughs> that is one small fish. Something had it. <laughs> Something picked it up while I was doing the anchor. <laughs> I've outdone myself. I've outdone myself this time. Oh, how this fish got that thing in its mouth. He did. Corey told me about the bamboo. He said these rocks by the bamboo. And we'll see what happens. He said there was a deep hole. There's a deep hole over here. I think we have ourselves another um, another little rock bass. Yep. They fight like crazy at first, and then they just stop. <laughs> Very predictable.
a little smally. Oh, here, man. I'm going to get you fixed up here. Would you stop it? Oh, should have showed them to you. Picture in your mind, seven inch smallmouth. Maybe seven inches. Hanging right off that ledge. That'd be a great place for a big smallmouth. Of course, today, big has a different meaning. Caught anything? I have. Really? But nothing of any size. Uh -oh. <laughs> but that's nothing new. <laughs> we hadn't seen anybody catch anything all day everybody i've talked to they've said it's been rough now, now understand i haven't caught a bunch right. but and i've had to work i've had to you know get serious about it right. but you know it's still better than being at work That's right. <laughs> for some reason <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. You hit it sitting still. <laughs> Hard to get the hook out these things. Their mouths are too small. Ha, 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 ha.